Hey, what's going on guys? Tiebreaker, back in another video. And this is going to be my last video on how to make a montage. Or for this series at least. I might do another one of these in the future. So, this episode is just going to be on color correction, black bars, exporting, fishing touches, stuff like that. The first thing we're going to do is add a color correction. So what you want to do is, if you're on third or something like this, you want to adjust this to full. Then layer, new, adjustment layer. Let's rename this to CC. Then on effects and presets, you want to type in magic boat looks. Sprayer, red giant color sweep. Drag that on there. Then you want to go to a good point in the video where you can see a good part of the map. So probably like, like that. That's good. You want to press edit. You need to download some pre-made color corrections online or make your own. I've made a few that are in my editing pack. So if you want to go get that, it's only $5. The link will be in the description. So I have like six on there right now and I'm adding, currently making more for it. What you're gonna do is go to tools. Just kind of mess around with it. Just whatever you like, really. So what you want to add for subject is you want to add pop. Just have that on there. So for map, just, you can just keep it empty or add some things up to you. you can go to lens. Vignette, I usually add a vignette right here. Like this. Kind of makes the edges kind of dark or whatever color you want. You just adjust this a little bit to whatever you want. You can even change the color if you want. So I'm going to make this kind of like a bluish or uh, orangish color. So just like. Like that. Kind of an orange color. That's good. I like that. Then you can add a haze flare. Make whatever color you want. Spillage. That's around the settings. 35. Softness. I'll do around 15% for that. The reach. Just don't really mess around with that much. That stuff. Make this color more of a bluish. Just like that. Then you can go to camera. Film grain. If you want to add a film grain, change the amount to 2.5. Or just no film green at all, actually. And um, it's something to skip camera. And I'm gonna go over here and color this stuff three way. Then you can adjust these to any colors you want. I'm gonna do a blue and orange. Kind of like this. Turn down the strength a little bit to maybe 50%. Mid tone, I might do like an orange ish. Like that. And this shadow just kind of make a dark color. Just like make a little bit dark like that. And if you want, that's all you have to do for that. You can see a difference like this. So this is like a really basic color correction. Yeah, I usually spend a lot more time on my color corrections, but since it's just a tutorial, I'm not gonna spend too much time on it. You can probably spend a lot more time make it look a lot better if you really want to. Next thing we're gonna do is add black bars. So go to layer, new adjustment layer. Make sure it's on top of all of them. Make sure it's the very top layer. Right click it, rename black bars. Then go in here, effects and presets, type in motion tile. Put that on there. And for output height, you, I usually do 75, just like that. Then you're done with that. You want to select all of your clips, not the adjustment layers for the audio, just the clips, like that. And then right here, this very left box out of all four, you want to double click that. That'll turn on frame blending. So all the laggy parts, so all the parts where it slows down are still in 60 FPS. Last thing I do is add RSMB. And now adding RSMB and doing a color correction are always the last things you do, because they'll make you, or make, after effects lag a lot in the playback. Like if I try playing this back in third, it's gonna be really 
Yeah, really laggy. And our SMB isn't even added yet. So what you want to do is add our SMB. You can either go on each clip uh, that way, or you can do select all of them pre-comp. Yeah, so I'm going to do select all of them and then right click, pre-compose, pre-comp one, then RSMB, then right in here, just RSMB. You can see a little motion blur there if you enable it and disable it. So now to export it, you can either do composition, add to render queue or add to media encoder queue, but I don't really use, I don't use those. I just render it through Premiere Pro because it's just easier for me. And so then what you want to do is you want to drag in that After Effects file into Premiere. Just wait, it may take a little bit to load, depending on how long your montage is. It might take either five, 10 seconds or five minutes. It really depends. Composition one, just double click that, double click it again. So yeah, once it's in Premiere Pro, I usually just go to Effects, Audio Transitions, Crossfade, and put this in the end. And the beginning, since the song just, I use the middle of the song for this tutorial. I put in the beginning and end, so and video transitions for both. Dissolve, film dissolve, and I'll just shorten these. Just like that. Same for these two. Shorten them. Just like that. And that's it. And I either pre-compose in After Effects and now add RSMB that way, or I just add RSMB in Premiere Pro. Either one really, either one works. Just whatever you prefer. So now what you want to do is go to File, Export, Media. And then you can just name it whatever you want. I'm just going to keep it aimed as that. And for preset, I used to do YouTube 1080p full HD. So, and depending on, on how good your PC is, how many effects you added and stuff like that, it may take anywhere from 10 minutes to seven hours to render. Like I know some people that leave it on overnight, it takes like 10, 11 hours to render, but they add a bunch of effects and it's like a five minute montage. So for my montages, if it's like two, two and a half minutes, they'll probably take around an hour, an hour and a half to render. I usually just keep all the default settings. So once you have this done, just press export and that's it. So thank you for watching this series and let me know in the comments if you liked it. And if I should do another one, if I should just do one tutorial instead of a whole series, like, like a tutorial on certain things, motion tracking, stuff like that. So. Just let me know in the comments if you like this and make sure to like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video.